I am making an automatic transfer switch for outages from main power source to backup power source. This MCB at the left is the main power source breaker, while this MCB at the right is a backup power breaker. And this will be the housing of our ATS. Check the diagram in the automatic transfer switch manual. This is main power source terminal and using THHN wire, we will connect to the bottom of the main power source breaker. This backup power source terminal will be wired to the bottom of the backup power source breaker. And for the ATS output, we will need the 15th amp outlet. We have here the end wire of the outlet which will connect to the output terminal of the ATS. Estimate the length of the wire needed. The first two slots of this green terminal will be connected to the main power source terminal. The first two slots of this bottom green terminal will be connected to the backup power source terminal. Diagram of the wiring is found at the manual. The housing has four entry holes, two on the top and two at the bottom. I am connecting the outlet to the output terminal of the ATS. This is the ATS output terminal. This is the outlet to which we can plug the appliances or load that will be powered by the main power or the backup source. We can return this wire after tightening the output terminal. This will be the main power source plug which I will connect to the top of the main power source breaker. Then connecting but manage the wire at an angle so that it will not be dislodged when being pulled. This is the backup power outlet to which we can plug the backup power source like the inverter or generator. I will connect this outlet to the backup source breaker. Power or electricity is outputted to this outlet. Now let's review the flow of power. Electricity flows when this is plugged to main power. Going to the main power source circuit breaker. Then to the ATS main power source terminal. To the ATS output terminal. Then going out. Output terminal to output outlet. This will give power to the appliances or load that we will plug here. But for the uninterrupted power supply during power outages, we will be using a backup power source. When solar powered battery that is connected to inverter is plugged here, electricity will flow. Going to the backup power source circuit breaker. then to the ATS backup power source terminal. Electricity then flows to the outlet. Appliances plugged to this outlet will now be powered by the backup source. Now this green terminal should be wired to the main source terminal. Green terminal below should be wired to the backup source terminal. I will wire the green terminal. For tight screws, I use the cutter to turn the precision screwdriver. Refer to the manual for the proper wiring. Check that the wires are tightly screwed and can't be pulled out.
we can use a plug instead of an outlet to connect the ATS to the backup power source. This plug is for backup power source. This plug is for main power. ATS is plug, lights are on, time to test. ATS is plug to main power source. This to backup power source. Did not use this outlet for backup power source. Again, this is the main power source connection. Red light is on. And the breaker to the right is connected to the backup power source. And to the output outlet, I plugged in a radio appliance. The radio appliance is on and is being run by the main power source. This is the first time I will use and operate an ATS, so I feel nervous. Aside from that, this ATS is expensive. I hope this works. When I press off this main power source switch, the electrical supply will transfer to the backup power source. According to the manual, the transfer is done in less than 50 milliseconds, which is different from the advertised 8 milliseconds. Transfer time is important because I will use this with a computer. I need a fast transfer so that the computer will not shut down. Let's see first if the ATS works. Yes, it works. The red knob switch to backup source. The red light turned off and the green light remained lit. What a relief. Let's try again. But now we will be switching back on the main power source. Transfer back to main power source works. The red knob switched back to main power source and the red light turned on. When the source is cut and the electrical supply is transferred to the other source, the plugged-in radio appliance did not turn off and the music continued playing. The switching speed looks fast enough and will not shut down the computer. Let's test, let's say it's brown out again. Let's say power comes back. Thank you God, this is working. This is the automatic transfer switch with the housing cover. The size is 9 to 12 way and it is only 200 pesos. This is how my automatic transfer switch build initially looks. This is not the final product, I will still modify this. So here are the changes. I relocated the output outlet to the side of the housing. This is the main power source plug and this is the backup. This is the output outlet. This is the common ATS build which can easily be connected to power sources. But for my need, mine is slightly different. I'm using an outlet instead of a plug for my backup power source. This is the plug of the battery connected to the inverter which is now plugged to the backup power source. I remove this plug and plug the ATS plug. The computer is connected to an extension outlet and this is its plug. I will then transfer this plug to the ATS outlet output so that the ATS will supply power to the extension and the computer. Switch on backup power breaker, green light on. Switch main power breaker on, red light on. Backup power on. 
baka power source off. It's all system go. We can power now the computer using this automatic transfer switch. Okay. The main or normal power is the distribution utility, while the backup or reserve is the solar generator with pure cine wave inverter. The inverter is 1000 watts and the computer uses a 750 watt Corsair PSU. The extensions used have power surge protector and circuit breaker. So let's test the computer and the ATS. I go. Did you video mo na? Switch ka na? Yep. Good. Hindi nag shutdown? Not at all. Uh, ibabalik ko sa solar to bene ko ha? Right. Good. Okay. One more try. Brown out. Good. Uh, back to power. Good. Okay, nice. Thank you for watching. I would like to add that plugs connected to MCB can be dislodged by frequent movement. Right angle bending of wires help keep the wires in position by the frequent movement of the plug. This can also be operated in manual mode. Red light is off, green is on, power supplied by the solar generator. Main power circuit breaker on, but the switch is off. If we turn on the main power source, the ATS will not switch because it is in manual mode. Going back to automatic mode, I have another test. If the ATS is in backup power source, but the backup or solar generator is down or low battery, can the ATS switch to main power source when the city power comes back? So here the red knob is pointing at reserve, the backup is cut off, and the ATS is automatic. Turning this on means the city power is back. Can the ATS switch to main power? So ATS can return to normal power from reserve power even if there is no reserve power. Turn the knob to the desired source. I can turn the knob even when the source is off but I will try with the source on. It's just my second time turning this so I was slow and I felt some spark inside the ATS. I have been using for more than two weeks this ATS as a switch between solar power and city power for our computer and other appliances plugged to this. I turn off the city power outlet when the solar battery has enough charge to power our computer, charger, or our hair blower, or during standby when no power is being used. ATS also consumes minimal power. And this is our gaming computer which can be powered by solar battery using the ATS during power outages or when we want to save electricity from city power. Our ATS is normally on city power and acts as a UPS for our computer when this is switched on. That's it. Thank you.